Hey. So, uh, working on the next board that's kind of going to go up against this one here, the chain link fencing. Okay, now, uh, on this chain link fencing here, I used uh, wooden dowels. So, you know, I bought a whole whack of them for a, a buck at the dollar store. So, these are wooden dowels. So, if they do fall over, break, get, you know, you, you can glue them back together or drill them out and put in a new one or whatever. Okay, now, you've, you've heard me talk about uh, lollipop plastic, you know, sucker sticks. Uh, back when I quit smoking, I uh, was using, you know, a fair amount of lollipops. Okay. So, anyways, I was. Uh, I'm going to do this next board here. Okay, I've drilled out a section here. I'll just put these in here. Okay, and it goes in a 90 degree on here. There's a couple wooden dolls. I use those. There. There. So I've got got room for this many sticks on it. Okay. I'm going to run some chain link along along the sides of this, and I'll have it kind of caved in. And I'm going to put I don't know some 45 gallon drums maybe in the corner here or, or something like that. But but I want the poles to bend over. Okay. Now you can't really do that with wood unless you use something like green stuff, and then you can kind of you know break break the you know at the right height there, and then green stuff a bend in it and stick the other piece on you know what I mean okay so then it you know it's still leaning over it's you know cut a whole bunch of wooden dolls right length and then you'll know that you know when you break it in half and put the green stuff on it'll be the right length perspective wise okay the other way of doing it is take you know something like these little plastic thin straws okay they're pretty close to the exact height I mean maybe a millimeter difference Okay, and use heat or something. Kind of rotate it slowly around, and don't, don't put it right in the flame. Never put anything right in the flame. Okay. Now that kind of bulged a little bit, so while it's still soft, hold hold it out. You know what I mean? Like, don't let it bulge. Because I mean, if we're only we're talking, you know, about that much time, right? I stretch it just a little bit so while it's still soft here kind of push it back together that way the you know the, it doesn't look like it's been melted you know what I mean looks like it's been bent over now of course I bent that in the wrong god dang spot really they would bend right at the base hey eh? and they'd be leaning over you know pretty much straight okay so but I wanted to show you that okay might be able to still salvage that. I don't know. Anyways, the, the, the reason why I'm showing you these in the first place is, you know how uh, a chain link fence has that upper bar lots of times? You know, in between and then the chain link. There's a piece of chain link. You know, it's kind of stuck up and there's that bar across the top, okay? So, hey, looking at these uh, <laughs> lollipops, They've already got a hole drilled up there, okay? That's kind of cool. That's that's what made made me think of it, eh? So, a guy can, you know, well, I'll drill it out so that it actually fits, but they seem to be different sizes in, in various ones, okay? So, you know, you get the idea, eh? And then this one here, they only have the hole on the one side, so you'd have to drill it out anyways, okay? And then you'd stick your chain linking to that, eh? And then it'll look re very realistic, eh? Because that's the way they actually do it, okay? Uh, suppose, you, you, you know, if you really want to be finicky, okay, take some green stuff and you can make the little cup bracket that they fit in. And then, and then, then the other thing, okay, okay, here, yeah. <laughs> at at the, the dollar store, you know, you always look at those uh, beads and stuff that they've got hanging there. Okay, so w women, they have a, a, a thicker kind of cord that they use sometimes, okay, for, for beading and stuff. And then those cords, they stick into a little cup with a, you know, a ring on the end of it. They look exactly like the, the little hooks, and, you know, when you're standing in line at the show theater and they've got that, you know, that velvet, or at the bank, that velvet rope, hey, and it's stuck to those, you know, little posts, hey, and you all got to stand in line and queue. Okay, it looks like those cups that hold that velvet rope, hey, Sipponian miniature, and it holds 
you know, a little necklace type thingy. Eh? So you stick that on the end of this, right, and paint it all silver, and then wire that actually to this, eh? <laughs> and it would look pretty much exact. I've got some of those. Where the hell did I got those? That's what that's what brought me to mind, eh? I'll, I'll look around for them. I'll, I'll do one like that. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do that with this one, actually, because that, that, that's kind of a cool idea. Anyways, so here's the basics of it, okay? You can use wood for your things. This is onion bag, okay? Uh, you know, they come in all different sizes. Hey, I've got them in various sizes. So, I mean, look around. They're, they're kind of free, eh? Uh, popsicle sticks. If they bend over, normally, like you think of one that's been bent over by a vehicle or something, okay? And they bend over right at the bottom, okay? So don't bend it like I did with this one because I was wrong, okay? And uh, those little necklace type thingies, I'll show you what they look like. You know, I'll stick together a bit of this fence here, maybe right in the corner with those. See, I didn't do it on that one. I could still put them on there. Yeah, I could still put them on there. Okay, I'll do that. Like I say, you know, Part of this gaming train stuff is, you know, you kind of modify as you go, and that's that's why I say the detailing never never stops. So I mean, when you're if you're buying terrain from somebody, give that some thought. You know, like this doesn't look too bad now, but with an extra bar in here and those proper little you know clasps holding it. No, no, it's not going to take a heck of a lot of time to do, but. It's the thought process, eh? I mean, that, you got to pay for that. So, anyways, I'll do that on here because that, that'll look really, really cool. Well, maybe I'll do it on this one. Because if you're going to do it, like I said, if you're going to do it realistic, you know, you got to kind of go all the way. 